Hi guys, Mitch here. As promised, I was going to do the OBS background removal plugin. I did the one with the NVIDIA. Uh, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can download NVIDIA broadcast software and get the background moved and get your green screen set up without a green screen. It was okay. I'm trying the OBS one now and I'm not too impressed. I already got installed. But what you want to do is obviously go to this page right here. I'll put it in the links if you can't see the URL there. Go to the download page here. And we want this. If you got Windows, again, this is going to be. I think they do have a Mac version, but I'm going to just show you the Windows version right now. Uh, they have them both, actually. Here's the. The 64-bit WinZip 64 back removable, that's for the Windows, and the one underneath, that's going to be for the Mac. I, I don't even think I'm going to try it for the Mac, but I'll show you why after. Okay, so after we do it, after we get that all set up, I already have it installed. All right, here's where I have it downloaded at, and I already extracted it. So uh, here, I'll, in case you guys don't know, um, it's the OBS, it's a zip file. So you want to extract it and extract it into this folder here on top. What you want to do is click on that, copy, copy both these folders. I'm sure you know how to do that. Right click copy. And then you want to go wherever you have your OBS installed at, which mine is in C programs, uh, OB, OBS studio. You can right click and paste after you copy it to your clipboard. From the other folder or you could open them up and just right click and paste in there see it was these two folders and they're already there all right so after you do that go ahead and open up obs and already have it set up all right we have our camera show right click it click filters and on the top one we got to do this first background removal click ok then select the color in here and we'll do some kind of green click ok it's there I'm just going to get, click close for now. But then we got to go back in, filters, and the same with your camera again. And then now we want to add a chroma, uh, chroma key. Click OK. Now Bob's your uncle. And just let me move this out of here. All right, let's go back and click on the background removal and play with that. Make sure it's on that setting that I like the best, a robust video matting. And play with these a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get it get it any better than threshold right there. Play around. Oh, I got to change it back to the GPU. Here's something interesting. Now I heard this crashes the program. All right, here's a. Uh, I don't know where is that setting at. There's this one setting called feather blend up here below the smooth silhouette man this thing it, it just i'm not sure what it does it slow it just increases the performance i mean it just makes it your cp my cpu is at 30 percent now when i move this up a little bit it just slows everything down and, and increases the uh the cpu usage actually it did increases the cpu but it just slows everything down Actually, it's it's slow though, but it just makes everything, you know, you can't. It's just not it's not smooth. Uh, turn that off. I wouldn't even mess with that. Some people report it crashes OBS, so I wouldn't even mess with that. But the main things you want to make you want to mess around with threshold, contour filter, smooth silhouette, and if you have a dedicated graphics card, you can play around with this, and you. Know, you in most cases, you're going to have a built-in, like if you don't have a dedicated graphics card, you're going to probably either have some kind of Intel based or Ryzen based video or uh, AMD based video card. But play with this or this segment model down here and see what this. Let's say uh, I could load that. It could be better, could be worse. Still not like a green screen. Like I was doing my messing around with my green screen earlier without lights and it's just I can't, it's i can't get anything good on it unless i put my light stands up and attach my lights to it and then i could get something look 
looks really, really good. But so let me uh, let's put another picture up here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's put another image. Okay, browse desktops. Uh, my intros. Let's get a background. Let's do let's do this one here. Okay, and put that over here. Of course, we're going to have to move that down. Move that image down. It, you can you, I you know you could live with that. You know, it's it's not great. I mean, I probably won't use it yet. I just wanted to see how it worked. I mean, if you're a gamer, which I am not, it'd be fine for a game. You got a game playing in the background, and that's what people would use this for most likely so it could be better it could be you know and it could be worse actually you know but, but you have to experiment with experiment with and i'm going to try it on my that old laptop i was mentioning that old seven eight year old i7 i have um and see how this works on air curious so anyway it's a short video if you have any questions give me a shout i'll put a link to the uh OBS background removal. But like I said, there's tons of videos on here. I'm just watching somebody else do a video. That's all I'm doing. And I'm just telling, showing you what my knowledge, what I got out of it. So... But the bad thing about this, it is pegging the heck out of your CPU. And I got it set up to use my GPU, my graphics card. Either way, it's still it's at forty percent CPU. And if I here, if I uh, cut my camera off right, or let me, or I'll cut, I'll cut the plug-in off right now. Watch when I turn that background removal plug-in off. It's going to drop the CPU. It's just drop. It's dropped down immensely right now. It's like hey, it's like five point one percent now. Turn it back on. It's going back up there.